House of Wax is a 1953 American horror film that is a remake of the pre hayes Code 1933 horror film Mystery of the Wax Museum that was directed by Andre de Toth and written by Crane Wilbur, with Bert Glennon, J. Paviral Marley and Lothrop B. Worth handling the cinematography. The film stars the legendary actor Vincent Price a disfigured sculptor who repopulates his destroyed wax museum by murdering people and using their wax-coated corpses as displays. An interesting fact about House of Wax is how it's a 3D film yet the director, being blind in one eye, couldn't even see it, which some people have said worked out better as it allowed him to focus on making a better movie, which is an interesting statement to say the least. The musical score, by David Buttle, who also did The Lone Ranger, Phantom of the Rue Morgue, and Maverick, is beautiful, hauntingly epic, and creepy, and regarding the cinematography, while it's not as good as later movies such as Halloween or The Good The Bad and The Ugly it's still detailed and uses rich color and shadow and distinctly has lush, almost gothic in a sense design. Despite being made during the infamously strict Hayes Code era, House of Wax is a overall extremely dark movie, with a premise like it had, despite being based on a story from 1932, it easily could have been made into a very intense and graphic movie in the 70s when Hayes Code had fallen out of use, however the more restrained nature of this movie gives it a more unique identity and elevates it from what easily could have been made into very schlocky material. While it does have its moments, it more so hints at and alludes to horror rather than outright showing it. The scenes that are supposed to be dramatic are suitably so but the other scenes almost feel like they're from a different movie to an extent. The climax of the film is genuinely intense and for a second there I thought it was going to break one of the core tenets of the Hayes Code, which is that good must always win and evil must always lose and be strongly admonished. The makeup on Vincent Price's character is incredible and grotesque, and makes it hard to believe that this film is really from 1953 as it seems more like something from the 1970s or 80s. If I had any complaints about House of Wax at all, it would be that it suffers to an extent from having been made during Hayes Code, which in my opinion, likely strongly restricted their vision, as the film feels like they were trying to push it as much as they could for the time. Overall, the 1953 film House of Wax is an excellent and historically significant movie that earns its place in the Library of Congress and with that I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10. And that'll be the video, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it please be sure to follow me on social media.